welcome back to Noob Tricks. There are many factions in Warhammer 40k universe, but only one of them mixes technology and religion. Their deck to mechanicals. They pray to the machine spirit and believe in the Amnesia. I love that they use red as their main color. You would think they would be the fastest, but they are not. Today I am building one of my favorite models from this faction, the Onagerdin Crawler, a tank with crab-like legs that has a surreal and unique look. But before we get started, I want to give a quick thanks to Timu for supporting this video. Timu offers affordable tools and supplies with free shipping and 90 day returns. Download their app using the link below and use my code for a 100 coupon bundle. I'll highlight few Timu tools I used throughout this build, so stay tuned. I am using a laser engraver to cut all the pieces for the model. This recently purchased engraver has significantly improved my workflow by saving hours and providing incredibly detailed and precise cuts. It makes the process much faster and more efficient. The Adeptus Mechanicus Onager is a combat walker from the Warhammer 40k universe, used by Adeptus Mechanicus faction. It's designed to navigate difficult terrain with its scrap like legs, making it perfect for both offense and defense. The Onager is equipped with advanced weaponry and machinery, fitting the Mechanicus style, which blends technology and ancient rituals. This model captures those mechanical details and you can really see the intricate design work, especially in the legs, as they come together. I am focusing on these details to highlight its distinct steampunk-like aesthetic, which is iconic for the faction. I am using a nipper from a 19-piece jewelry tool kit to cut wooden toothpicks for the model's pneumatic pistons. It's not the best tool set I've tried, but it works, and at 10.99 it's a decent deal for the basic tasks. Now I'm starting to assemble the Onager's body, which is heavily armored to help it survive in battle while still being mobile. The armor looks impressive and shows the Mechanicus mix of technology and ancient design. It's armed with the powerful weapons, including cannons and missiles, making it a tough opponent. As I put the body together, you can see how the armor pieces fit, creating a strong structure that's both a weapon and a work of art. I'm adding magnets to the legs and body parts. 
This lets me easily rotate the body and take it apart when needed. Using magnets like this not only makes the model more practical, but also enhances its overall design. Now I'm assembling the weapon turret, which is a rotating double gun cylinder on the right side. It works like a hand holding two guns and future is a twin linked heavy phosphor blaster. This turret adds firepower and enhances the model's overall look, showcasing the Adeptus Mechanicus focus on advanced weaponry. Here I am assembling the crew hatches, one large and one small, on the size of the Onager's body. These hatches are designed as cylinders, with a quarter of which extending outwards. They provide access for the crew to enter and exit the Onager. The crew plays a crucial role in operating this combat walker, managing its weapons and systems during battle. These hatches add detail to the model and highlight the crew's viral role in making the Onager effective in battle. On the next step I am assembling the manipulator arm at the front of the Onager. This arm looks like a metal hand and is designed to grip and lift objects. It enhances the Onager's versatility, making it useful for both combat and support tasks. Now I am adding several important details to the Onager. I start by installing the viewing slits, which let the crew see their surroundings. Then I attach crew access ladder to the large hatch for easy entry. The manhole covers on top provide access to the interior, while the engine department's radiator grills help with cooling. I also add spikes to the legs, enhancing the model's rugged look. The small detail are key to making the model look realistic and give the Onager more character. Next I'm adding rivets to the model using a handheld hole punch tool. These rivets help enhance the Onager's armor and give it a realistic industrial look. Small details like this are essential for capturing the gritty and mechanical feel of the Adeptus Mechanicus.
Here is the upgraded XDuit portable airbrush kit from Timu, featuring 55 PSI and clearly marked sensor buttons for easy operation. Unlike the previous model, which only had 32 PSI and an unmarked sensor panel that made it hard to use, this new version is much more user-friendly. I particularly enjoyed upgrading to a more advanced brush with multiple needle sizes, discarding the original, as it felt cheap and came with only one needle size, making it suitable mainly for beginners. This enhanced kit provides ample power for all my needs, offering the precision necessary for both priming and detailed work. You'll definitely want to invest in a better brush for more advanced projects. I also found this kit on Timu for 10 bucks less than on Amazon, making it at a good deal for purchasing paints or a better brush. I am priming the model using Timu's airbrush kit. The Hydra PSI and improved setup provides smooth coverage, helping me create a gradient effect that really enhances the model's look. Now I'm using Timo's miniature paint brushes for detailed work. These brushes have fine tips, making them suitable for intricate painting. And while they are not as good as my professional set, they provide a very close result for less than a free box, which is a great value. Here I am drawing the Adeptus Mechanicus logo, a skull within a gear symbol. The skull represents knowledge and technology, a key theme for the Mechanicus faction. I am keeping the design simple with a black color scheme. I am using a weathering brush set from Timo to add edging effects to the model. At 6.99 the set isn't the best value, but it gets the job done like any other basic option. Now I'm using a kitchen sponge to apply paint, creating the effect of worn edges and exposing the metal underneath. It gives the model a realistic edged look. I'm highlighting the model's edges with lighter colors to make them stand out more. This adds depth and helps define the onager's structure, enhancing its overall look. I'm using a black wash to enhance the depth of the previous highlights. It settles into the grooves and crevices, emphasizing the details and giving the onager a more realistic and weathery appearance.
here is my take on the Adeptus Mechanicus Onager model. I hope you enjoyed following along with the build. Thanks for everyone who stayed until the end. A special thanks for Timo for their support. Remember to check out my discount code in the description for great deals. See you in the next video.